The human body needs high amounts of essential nutrients. However, small amounts of additional compounds are also indispensable for healthy functioning. Such organic substances are the vitamins which our body is typically unable to produce. Vitamins are divided into two main groups. Vitamins A, D, E, and K are fat-soluble vitamins. The human body can store these, primarily in adipose tissue and in the liver, so their daily supplementation is not really necessary when following a healthy diet. In fact, their overdose can cause severe symptoms. Water-soluble vitamins are the entire vitamin B group and vitamin C. Our body is not able to store these for long. Therefore, it is vital that our daily diet should contain the right amount of them. Although excess amounts of the vitamins are excreted in urine, prolonged use of particularly high doses can cause symptoms of intoxication and can even have an organ-damaging effect. The health benefits of certain foods have been known for ages. Though it wasn't known which specific ingredient of the food had a disease-preventing effect, these ingredients were started to be scientifically identified from the beginning of the 20th century. First, two substances were isolated from which, if not enough goes into our bodies, a deficiency disease can occur. These two substances were named vitamins. The one that dissolves in fat was called vitamin A, and the one that dissolves in water was vitamin B. However, scurvy, known as a deficiency disease, was not cured by either vitamin A or vitamin B. So a conclusion was reached about the existence of a third vitamin as well. It was given the letter C and was identified shortly afterwards. Vitamins soon became the focus of researchers' attention. When the earlier identified vitamin A was removed from cod liver oil in an experiment, but the fish oil still remained effective against rickets, vitamin D was discovered. More and more compounds were then identified, which were given the letters of the alphabet in order. They also realized that vitamin B was not a single vitamin, so they started numbering its versions. Over time, some of the newly discovered vitamins turned out to be not real vitamins. Because they either did not have the effect of vitamins or the body itself could produce them, or a bigger quantity was needed from them than from vitamins. So they all dropped out of the category of vitamins. In addition, Increasingly accurate chemical studies identified several similarities among vitamins. For instance, biotin is now referred to as vitamin B7, but it used to be known as vitamin H. Today we recognize only 13 vitamins. Most vitamins cover more than one molecule, although their effectiveness may vary. A compound does not receive vitamin status based on its chemical structure, but on its effects on our body. Vitamin A, B5, and D have provitamins too. Our body itself is able to convert provitamins into real vitamins. In the case of vitamin D's provitamin, a small amount of UVB radiation contained in sunlight is also needed for converting the provitamin into vitamin D. In addition to vitamins, the body also needs several minerals and trace elements. Altogether, minerals make up 4-5% to of our body. These are classified as macronutrients or trace elements based on their amount in our body. They are also involved in several important physiological processes. The operation of our body is an extremely complicated system where the various incoming nutrients constantly interfere with each other. For example, higher amounts of potassium prevent the absorption of vitamin B12 while vitamin C helps iron utilization. Regular alcohol consumption or smoking significantly inhibits the absorption of many vitamins, but even the consumption of the tannic acid found in coffee and tea, ordinary soda bicarbonate, or carbonated beverages can also reduce the absorption of vitamin B1. 
Thus, it is also important when and what we consume, and in what combination. A food may be high in vitamins or minerals, but only a fraction of these can be absorbed because of another ingredient of the food. But how we prepare food is also important. For example, vitamins B1 and C decompose relatively quickly under heat. So it is important to expose such vitamin-rich materials to as little heat as possible and for as short a time as possible. At the same time, the absorption of vitamin A is facilitated by short-term cooking and steaming. It is good to know that some of the fat-soluble vitamins dissolve into oil or fat while being cooked, while the water-soluble vitamins dissolve into water when boiled. The daily required amounts of these substances are determined by scientific studies. And when new scientific results are available, these values are modified. The amount of recommended intake can be significantly affected by our age or by our current physical condition. Some vitamins need to be taken in a higher amount in old age because their absorption and efficiency deteriorate due to aging-related processes. For newborns, extra vitamin K and D supplementation is needed. Pregnancy, prolonged physical exertion, persistent stress, or various illnesses can also significantly modify the required vitamin and mineral quantities. In the absence of sunlight, for example, our vitamin D level decreases in winter. Therefore, it needs to be replenished. It is important to have adequate levels of vitamins and minerals for a well-functioning immune system. With a varied diet, most vitamins and minerals can be taken into the body naturally. However, certain ages, special diets, or illnesses may still require the replenishment of certain vitamins and minerals. These days, there are many mineral and vitamin supplements to choose from. But it is important to get them from a reliable source. It's definitely worth finding out the optimal daily intake for yourself and checking the composition of the products against this. Unlike antipyretics or painkillers, vitamins and minerals do not work in a short time. However, do not take these every day of the year. You should only take them for a limited period of a few weeks or months and avoid taking excessive amounts. To stay healthy, drink plenty of fluids, exercise regularly, reduce stress, get enough rest, and strive for a balanced diet. And get the right amount of vitamins and minerals for your age and physical condition.
subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on any new episodes.